What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. We're going to be taking a look at the top 10 tweaks for iOS 11.3.1. Now these are the first 10 tweaks that I actually installed and I'm using on my device. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump into this. Color badges colorizes the badges on your device to match the dominant color of the app icon, giving it a much more simple and kind of elegant look in my opinion. Definitely a very cool tweak. Smooth cursor brings a new style kind of cursor look when you're typing on your device. So if you do a lot of texting or typing, it's a very subtle difference that you will notice and it's actually really nice. Again, that's smooth cursor. Zeppelin allows you to change your carrier logo on your device. The tweak itself comes packed with a bunch of different logos, but you can also download a ton of free packs with Insidia. Anemone is one of the coolest tweaks slash applications you can get within Cydia. It allows you to ch change and theme all of your app icons. The way the application works is incredibly simplistic. We can just go ahead and select on another theme. We'll go ahead and click on preview and we'll also apply it. And as you guys will see here, all of the app icons have changed just like that. And there are a ton of different themes within Cydia to choose from. Again, that is Anemone. Cylinder allows you to have animated page scrolling effects, as you guys can see, by swiping from page to page here. There are dozens of different effects to choose from. I'll even leave down in the description uh, the effects I'm using to make it look like this. Definitely a very cool tweak. Dark Messages iOS 10 does work on iOS 11.3.1, as you guys can see. It basically brings dark mode to the Messages app. It also allows you to customize and change the color of the chat bubbles uh, and a few other settings. Definitely a really cool tweak. Again, it's called Dark Messages. Filesa is a system-wide file system application for your device. It allows you to browse the complete library of all the files on your device. Take caution when using this. I would not recommend using it unless you know what you're doing because you could mess up your device. Power Selector is a very cool tweak from Cydia. It gives you a new toggle within Control Center that you can add. And if we go ahead and click on that, as you can see, it will give you a ton of different options. I mainly use this for the respring functionality, but as you guys can see, you can power off your device, reboot it, go into safe mode, respring, so on and so forth. An awesome tweak to have. Lock Plus Pro allows you to customize your lock screen. There are tons of different themes to choose from within Lock Plus Pro. Go ahead and swipe down, select on themes. Just go ahead and apply a new theme and just like that, as you guys can see, the lock screen has changed how it looks. It's very cool there. There are uh, themes that come with weather widgets, also temperature and stuff like that. So very, very cool tweak to customize the look of your lock screen. The last tweak I got for you guys is called Boxy 3. Pretty much what it allows you to do is to completely customize the layout of your home screen. As you guys can see, my icons are kind of squished together just a little bit more. If we go ahead and swipe up, uh, as you can see, there are the settings for Boxy 3. And literally all you have to do is just sit here and make fine adjustments. And you can pretty much uh, make the layout of your icons however you want them to be. Definitely a must-have tweak. So there you go, guys. Those are 10 awesome tweaks that were the first ones I installed on my jailbroken 11.3.1 device. They're all listed down in the description in case you guys want to download them and try them out with Insidia. I'll also leave some other information down in the description. Shout out to everybody on Instagram and Twitter that got to see the preview of this video. If you guys aren't following me on Twitter or Instagram, the links are down in the description. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.